Millions of Americans traveling over the long holiday weekend in Las Vegas, as usual, will be one of their top destinations. But there is one place in town no one wants to visit, yet it remains incredibly busy day and night. The county jail. Eight News Now Chief Investigator George Knapp ventured behind bars to learn the art and science of running the Clark County Detention Center. You know, most people in booking didn't wake up that morning. So, you know, I think by midnight I want to be in chains at the Clark County Detention Center for something, you know, crazy. After and they're angry at somebody. Every day, on average, 158 people are booked into the Clark County Detention Center, more than 57,000 total last year, and they remain in jail for an average of 18 days. More than 400 of the inmates here are awaiting trial for murder. More than 30 of those have been waiting five years or longer. In decades past, the old county jail was so overcrowded that federal authorities put it under a consent decree. Its replacement facility is carefully managed to keep a vacancy rate of about 30%. You, know, you can't fill the jail and have that solve your problems. It just creates a whole other set of problems. So as we've learned these things as a profession, uh, you know, we've been in front of that change curve, so to speak, uh, on how to make this community safer without populating the jail and filling the jail with people. New arrivals go through a detailed booking process. Fingerprints get taken. Photos are snapped of tattoos, often valuable to gang enforcement. All felony suspects must provide DNA samples, an incredibly important tool that helped solve dozens of other serious crimes last year. Male and female inmates are segregated, of course, but they get divvied up into many other subcategories. So everyone gets classified based on their criminal history, their charges, their gang affiliation. We have a classification section that's run by our officers where they try to house similarly classified inmates all together. So that way you don't get someone who's in on his first offense for domestic violence with a roommate who is a convicted murderer who's now murdered again. Sex offenders get housed in a separate section. So do transgender inmates, in part for their own protection. Military veterans, as a group, have common needs and problems, so they too have their own section. Getting meals and medical attention to a constantly shifting population is an immense challenge. Many who end up behind bars are homeless, and Captain Clark estimates 40% of the inmates have mental health issues requiring medication, making the jail Nevada's largest mental health facility. There's a doctor here, there's a psychologist here, there's people here that can give them the medication that they need. The challenge is, is when it's time for them to leave, they're back out in your neighborhood and mine, and the idea that they're just going to be able to continue their care once they leave the facility is, is a fantasy. The jail is not meant to be a place to punish suspects since most here have not been tried, let alone convicted. Metro understands that it is sort of a temporary dumping ground for social ills, including homelessness and mental health. The time they spend in jail presents an opportunity for the police that can reduce the crime rate. Multiple programs have been implemented at the jail to teach basic life skills for when the inmates are released. We are corrections officers. Our, our job is to correct the behavior. The, the programs that we've brought in, the Hope for Prisoners, DSD Cares events, where we bring people in from all over the community to help people get a driver's license when they're released, to get their Social Security card when they're released, to get back on insurance when they're released. All these programs are helping these people go back out into society and not come back. Astonishingly, some inmates are what you might call frequent flyers. Some of them have been arrested more than 600 times over the years, most of those for vice or prostitution. Overall, it is a kinder, gentler approach than the old lock them up, throw away the key. But corrections officers and staff know the jail's most important function remains the same as ever, to protect the public by keeping the worst of the worst where they belong. Unfortunately, we still have people that the only thing they know is jail. George Knapp, 8 News Now.